Welcome to the Hustle Skirt Podcast, the show that brings you economic equity for everyone, every day with your host, Deborah Gould. Yes, I am Deborah Washington Gould, and I am the president and CEO of Deborah Gould and Associate Inc. DGAI is a management consulting and performance management company founded and based in New Orleans, Louisiana since 1996. Please visit my company website at www.gouldassos.com where you will learn more about my professional service offerings in management consulting, executive coaching, training, facilitating, and keynote presentation. Today, it is an honor and privilege to have my guest here who is an author and professor, Deborah Keen. But before we get into that, I know Deborah have a lot of folks you, you want to hear this particular presentation. So let me give you the background, the backdrop of the purpose of Hustle Skirt. Here you will learn about the mission of the Hustle Skirt podcast is to promote, communicate, and amplify the influence of men and women entrepreneurs, professors like Deborah, as well as we're all in this for profit or C-suite or a higher executive with corporation or nonprofit organization. Today is all about my guests to give them a chance to spotlight what they do brilliantly in the community. So it's all about economic equity. And if the hustle skirt can make that huge difference in our author today of new beginnings to sell more books, more books, more books, then my purpose is not by accident. And as you know, there are no accidents in this universe. Mm -hmm. The meaning of the hustle skirt Never give up. Don't take no for an answer. Believe in yourself. Stay focused. Be confident, self-assured, courageous, and bold. Be an encourager and an encouragement to anyone that you come across. Become, being, be the best you. You can't be what you don't see. Mm. Be an effective leader so you make the good use of your 24-7. Mm. So, my big whys. I have a couple of big whys I'd like to share with you before I introduce our guests. My tenacious desire is greater than my fears. Do what you imagine possible. Do the hard things. And one of my big whys, the reason why I created the Hustle Spirit podcast, I want to be the change I want to see in others. So individuals like our author today, author today, Deborah Keen, she's a change agent, and she's going to tell us about all, all the things that she's doing in her community, her church, and what it meant for her to be a professor, her long, successful career, as well as mentoring others to make a difference. So would you like to know really more about my guest today, Deborah? <laughs> I want to give her her due prop, to her credentials. Well, we want to start out with saying she's Deborah Keen. Keelan. K-E-E-L-E-N. -E 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 yes, ma'am. After a lucrative career in engineering as an engineer at Ford Motor Company in Detroit, Michigan, and a traffic engineer in Nolan, Nolans at South Central Bell. Boy, boy that's a long time ago, Deb. Mm -hmm. Lord closed that door to show her true gift of teaching. I became a certified mathematician as she speaks, but uh, physics and compu computer science and whoo, all the big head stuff. Her teaching career began. My favorite subject, y'all ready for this? Calculus. Deborah enrolled in a doctorate program at UNO in curriculum and instruction and Consider an ABD. She retired from the New Orleans Public School only to become out of retirement to teach at SUNO, Southern University at New Orleans for those who are not familiar with that acronym, uh, HBCU. Mm -hmm. She's an adjunct professor. 
Now today, Deborah is going to talk to us about her new book, New Beginnings, tells the journey of this amazing woman. And the book also identifies statements from some former students. So I want to make sure that you all get a copy of this book. She currently tutors students via her LLC, Favorite Consultants. The website has the same name, all one word, favoriteconsultant.com. So with that being said, please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Deborah Keelan to our uh, program today. Hello, Deborah. Hello. I'm so humbled and honored to be a part of this special event. And no, I'm, I'm the one who's humbled because I'm saying we not only play golf together. I mean, just to listen to your extraordinary career and the things you're doing in the community. I couldn't wait for my audience to hear more about you and to see you in living colors. Now, I know you've watched a couple of my podcast interviews, mm. and I always have some specific questions. So I'm going to give you a general, specific, and a fun one. So okay. are you ready, Dale? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So my first question I'd like to ask, why did you entitle your book, New Beginnings? Well, I'm a numbers person, and the book came out in August, which is the eighth month, and New Beginnings is the number eight, whereas number seven is completion. So that's why I'm titled New Beginnings because every day is a new beginning and we can start over. And it also talks about a new beginning for me coming out of one lucrative career into another one. So I had a new beginning. And as a minister, God chose that path for me. As you said in my bio, there's no South Central Bell anymore. And that's why we're not there. We were a monopoly, so they sued and won. And now that's why you have all these other people, Verizon and whoever you have. So that's a little short backdrop on why I I left there. They wanted me to move to Atlanta, but I chose to stay here. Nevertheless, God was guiding all my steps. He wanted me to teach. And I found out that I truly loved it. And I could tell the students exactly where they were going to use that man. Mm. So new beginning. I hear the passion. I hear the passion. Every, every day is a new beginning. To, uh, that every day. And that's I the like song that. too. I, I sound like the song in church. <laughs> I, I learned something about August and the number eight new beginnings. And number seven is about completion. Completion. Yep, yep, completion. Mm -hmm. So I have two more questions then I want you to Share with our audience your contact information. Say some more about the book in your yes, uh, right. motivational moment. So my next question, why did you come out of retirement to be an adjunct professor of mathematics? You kind of said the South Central Bell and the monopoly that was out there, but say some more if you like to add. Yeah, well, what happened, um, Dr. Jackson at Southern University of New Orleans, one of our Sora, she uh, contacted, uh, she gave my contact information to the second in charge at Southern University in New Orleans. And he called me and he said, uh, you have come, this is how he sounds, you have come highly recommended <laughs> <laughs> by your sorrow, Dr. Brenda Jackson. And he asked me, he said, can you teach any day or night? I said, I can teach any day or night, but Wednesday nights. Why can't I teach on a Wednesday night? Bible. Bible Bible study. So he said, you will give up this job for Bible study? I said, yes, I would. So he says, you hired. I said, but you haven't even met me. He said, you hired. I'm looking at all your credentials right here on my desk. Come in here tomorrow and meet the rest of the staff. Beginning a, a new beginning teaching as an adjunct professor of mathematics. So I don't want to take too much into this. And you stop me if I'm going too long. When I went in for the interview, there had to be at least 10 professors in there. I said, I'm a researcher. Let's do a little research. 10 of you are in here. Seven of you speak a foreign language. I said, our students seem to think that 
when they go to an HBCU, their professors will look like them. That is not true, especially in your math and science departments. I say, so the students have to get past the language then to get to the math. They had never thought about it because most of them went straight from college, graduated from college, getting a doctorate straight into that college classroom, not knowing what we do to get them ready for those STEM careers. And so that's, they were very, very just, they were taken aback by what I shared with them. Mm -hmm. And coming out of engineering, they wanted someone who could share with the students how they were gonna use it. And I'll throw this in to my listeners. If you take algebra one and never take calculus, you will never see why you, you had to find the slope. And I'm gonna leave that alone. You'll be able to find me and I can answer that. I tutor, <laughs> I, I can tell you why that's the big connection. I have favorite educational consultants, LLC, and my I have a web a website as Doc said, the same name. And you can also call me at 504 259 2558 And share that information it, one more time, definitely the website and that number. Uh the website is is same name, favorite educational consultants.com. And my phone number is 504-259-2558. And as a minister, I tell my parents, if I can't pray for your student before I start tutoring, you have the wrong person. Mm. And they say, oh, no, we like this. <laughs> you know. So I, I work with students at um, private and some of the charter schools in the summer because there's not summer programs a lot for kids who didn't do well in math and science. So they will. We're going to segue on because you're going to have opportunity to say okay. some more. I want to get this third okay. question in. What makes your business favorite educational consultant, LLC, different from others? Well, first of all, favor is not fair, but it's free. So God has shown me so much favor in my life. So every time you say, uh, favorite right educational consultants, you're speaking favor over my life. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue and we can have what we say. My children say, mama, nobody not going to come to you. They're going to think you're a religious nut. <laughs> I say, this is the name that I'm going to use. God, I pray and fast about everything God gave me. Favorite right educational consultants so that those students can also get favor on their lives and and just build up their confidence in the classroom. So that's that makes us makes me different. And I found out that I love doing it. I heard somebody say, uh, you do it all the time if you even didn't get paid, if you really mm -hmm. love the job. And if I have parents that I've can't heard that many times. If I have parents that can't afford me, I take whatever they could give me because I look at it as a gift. I look at teaching as a gift. We all have a gift. And God has, um, I said, close that door in engineering to show me my true gift in teaching. I did not want to teach. I went to college to make money, but God said, you're going to teach my people. So I became a national trainer, training teachers all over the United States. I got a chance to travel. So I had a lot of opportunities uh, within working. Uh, most of my career was at McDonough 35. And I just got involved with doing professional development. I found out I loved it and I could write curriculum because that's <laughs> what my work in the doctoral program was all about curriculum and instruction. So God had just set me up. He had put the people and things in place before I even knew that I need them. They, they were there. So now, Deborah, in addition to responding to my question number three, you have just given us your motivational moment. Mm -hmm. But for those anyone who could just be listening, who probably just tuned in, mm -hmm. would you please kindly just give us that website and that telephone number one more time so that parents, students, other professional teachers that need your advanced instruction on how to help students in math. I we don't want them to miss this opportunity. Yeah, Would you be so kind so to do that? Well, you know, we love acronyms. 
FEC, which stands for Favorite Educational Consultants, LLC. Favorite Educational Consultants. And my, my uh, I guess I could say my theme is we are all lifelong learners. We never stop learning. My phone number, 504-259-2558. 504-259-2558 and website favorite consultants you can at gmail.com is how you can get in touch with me and you can go on my website and look at everything and if you are in LinkedIn I'm in LinkedIn I get so hey, many hey, Deborah, do this for me because we've talked about favorite educational mm -hmm. uh, consultant LLC but you know the one thing we have not I haven't talked about this book. The, the book. Can you tell us all the places mm -hmm. where folks... Yeah, thank you. Hold it up again, Deborah. <laughs> and tell us all the places that that book can be purchased, New Beginnings. Because I know you said something about being a graduate of Xavier University. Yes, and sir. for all of their authors, there yes. is a section for their alumnus. So yes, tell us some other places that our audience alumni. can find that book. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I sent that list to you and because my church wanted it as well, but you can get it on. You can just go I will have it listed when I go to YouTube okay. and the website. Okay. I got you covered, Deborah. Okay. I'm going to have <laughs> it all on there. OK, it's going to be yeah. on the so social very, media. Yes, I very, indeed. Yeah. I was very honored when uh, Xavier uh, said, oh, no, we have an alumni section. And uh, so the book is there. And also. Uh, at the bookstore uh, on Oak Street. People are very happy to, if you bring your book there, they're very happy to put your book in their store. So I haven't had any problems with that. And I'm Wonderful. also, also going to be selling and autographing the book uh, on Saturday, September, was that the 21st at the New Orleans East Festival. I have a table where I will have my cards to give the parents who need tutoring, let them know that I tutor ACT and uh, SAT, whatever they need. And I'll be at, that's in Joe Brown Park on Reed. I'll be selling- It was a little low key. Say that September 21st about the yeah. Joe Brown again and give me that yeah. power voice so my audience can hear. <laughs> okay, I'll be autographing and selling my book September 21st. 2024 at the New Orleans. This is the third one, New Orleans East uh, Festival. There will be all types of music, food. My church is going to be involved. All different choirs are going to be there. It's a lot of vendors. I know there's a lady there that you like praline. She makes some really good pralines. But, but you know, the key thing I heard you say, I'm going to have my business card so parents will have a takeaway for have their tutoring. I have my business cards as well as I got um, some bookmarks. Uh, uh, can you see it? That I'm going to be giving away yes. to them as well. And the bookmark has the scripture on it, Ecclesiastics 3 and 11, where it says he has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. And that's Amen. So I, now, these and are I Deborah, books. would you believe our time is up? Oh, and you did bad. marvelous. This was a great interview, Deborah. But I have to close the show right now. Mm -hmm. And I think you've had a chance to share with the audience about your new book, New Beginnings. Yes, where we can buy an upcoming event on September 21st and your lucrative career and how you're making such a difference as a professor. Oh, um, thank you so and much. Now, so HBCU. Humble. So humbled to have been a part of this program. Well, well you know, you're my golf partner and we've, <laughs> we've gotten to know each other very well. And, and I just, I'm the one that feels blessed today. And, uh, my husband and I, we're going to go Friday. He works from home. Is Joy, is Joy still close by that we can just have him just stick his head in right now? <laughs> he's going <laughs> to the man room. Oh, okay. He's oh, he's, man. he's in his man cave. That's yeah. okay. But uh -huh. Let me close out the show. And um, I think you're going to be very pleased with the interview. So I want my listening audience to know again, the Hustle Skirt podcast objective is mm -hmm. to empower you to speak power 
Speak up, embrace change in your own mission, purpose, and get fired up with your passion. That's what you heard from Deborah today. Make sure to visit our website at www.persistencelane.com where you can subscribe to the Hustle Skirt podcast, nine different platforms. You will have the opportunity to hear this message by Deborah today, the founder and owner of Favorite Educational Consultant, LLC. Thank you. So so- I want you to do this for me, ladies and gentlemen. Any one of these nine platforms from Apple's, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Amazon Music, Podchaser, iTunes, Podbean, you can hear this interview. In addition, it will be on my constant contact, the website, PersistenceLane.com, and, and YouTube. So you have a variety of places that you get to hear Deborah again. And once again... You are listening to the Hustle Skirt Podcast, the show that brings you economic equity for everyone, every day, with your founder and host, Deborah Gould. Deborah, thank you for the value of your time today. I speak blessings in your life for what you're doing, how you're sowing them to the lives of other people. You enjoy Make yourself a great weekend. Yes, ma'am. You too. All right. God bless. Bye, Deb. Bye.